Hello, I'm Master John Vasquez with Gold Medal Martial Arts and welcome to today's video. We're continuing the breakdown of Taeguk Chiljung. So this is going to be the second section of that. Um, this section here is going to incorporate again some of the stances from the first section, which is that cat stance. Um, but you're also going to be doing a few new movements with the arms and blocks and uh, a back fist type of motion here. So again, when you're doing your cat stance, just to kind of clarify for you, feet should be in the L position. Heels should not touch. You do want some space in between there. Bend both knees and then you pick the heel up of the front leg. Front leg because I'm facing off to this side here. This would be your cat stance. Now, that would be left cat stance. If I want a right cat stance, I reverse the position, or I should say change it to the other side, 180 degree, and then pick up the heel of the right leg. This would be a right cat stance. And you want to try to turn and face forward in your front direction, not to the front. Remember, in the front direction, because I'm facing this way, to the front would be facing that way towards the camera. Um, as much as you can. You don't want to be angled too much off of this. Okay, so let's start, um, we're going to start this section where we left off on the first section. So when we left off on the first section, you should have left off in the second double knife hand low block. Now from here, going into the next movement, all I'm going to do, and I should be, if you executed your, your back stance properly, you should be ready to slide the back leg straight up into another cat stance position right from those double low knife hand blocks. Now from here, double hands, down low, slide the leg up, prepare, down block, knife hand block, together. Then from here, and it should be an open hand here underneath my, my elbow. Then from here, I'm gonna execute a back fist. Now you notice when I do this, I'm actually extending the hand outward, straight forward here, because I want to execute a technique. A lot of people make the mistake and they do this here, and just bring the hand up, which looks more like a block instead of a strike. Back fist would be a punch, back of the hand. So when I'm in this position here, down, out. Here's what it looks like from the front. Cat stance, down block, knife hand block, out. Okay, so we're going to move right to that section here from this back stance, double low knife hand block, and you go, you do, aho. Now I'm going to turn to the other side and just reverse the position. Left foot now is down, but the toes are facing towards the front. Right foot now, heel is up, and this is my front leg for my right cat stance here. Prepare for the down block and middle block, again, uh, middle knife hand block. Down with the right hand, left hand knife hand block. I'm holding on to my <laughs> camera remote. Let me put that down for a second. You do, back fist from there. Next movement here, bring the hands in, right in front of me, grabbing onto my fist. Shoot the arms up straight over my head and execute out. Right hand should be a fist, left hand should be knife hand. The same time I do that, I'm gonna extend out and stand on one foot. On the right leg, left foot is out. This is a tension movement, so I'm gonna bring this down very slow, but stiff and, and tight as if I got me back from moving my arms and my body. And then I'm gonna punch right into the fist here in, I bring my feet together. So now I'm standing up straight on both of my feet. Bring the hands up and execute a position and pop or um, any kind of movement here. I'm just getting in a position to execute or to transition over to the next movement from this position here. Now I'm going to step forward with the left leg and do a low block middle block. Okay. But before we go into that next section here, uh, we're going to do that part over again because I want to make sure I got enough room as well. So, starting again from here, 
you go you do I hope yo Johanna now you do left leg front stance and I'm gonna execute a low block middle block right hand low block left hand middle block Johanna step forward with the right foot same thing again front stance low block middle block okay now there are those sections I didn't show you the both of them yet because the tendency a lot of people turn uh, tend to make when they learn both of those movements at the same time is um, they don't execute the low block and middle block properly so let's talk about that here for a second I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera you don't necessarily need to see my feet for this position here but this is what low block middle block so I'm snapping and executing that you do it twice, however, so it should look like this. Then you would step forward again and then do that again. Now, if you look at my hands from the front, you can see they kind of pass by each other, kind of like windshield wipers sometimes, without hitting each other. If you look at me from the side, here, just like that key to that one is here's where a lot of people make the mistake they bring their arms out way too far and then they're doing stuff like this kind of robot working and they don't bring the arms in. always try to keep the elbows in nice and tight so from here I want to keep my elbows in as I execute always bringing them elbows in. that's going to help you um, add more power to that technique as well for the double low um, double double block low block middle block Okay, so let's go over that section here. Let me back up a little bit. Start it from here. And you go. You do. Aho. Yo. Johanna. You do. Left leg. Low block, middle block. You set. Right leg. Low block, middle block. And put her. Okay, I did make a one little mistake there. I wanted to clear up here on this one. Um, and we're going to start the form from the beginning up until that section there before we start the transition of the final section. Um, when we do the, the second cat stance and the down block and the knife hand block, the... And I think I was thrown off a little bit because I was holding my uh, camera remote. So let's start from the beginning here. B and Hana dual set net that's it yes it you go you do I hope yo Johanna You do, you set, and pro. So that's the second um, section of Tagic Children. Next video, we're going to go over the third section, which is a little bit of movements in there that you're really going to need to pay attention to. But um, if you practice the first and the second section good enough and enough times, the third section you'll be able to follow along a lot easier with.